sounds good. Does that sound good, uh, Red, 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 Red Man? I remember my name. Oh wow! Welcome back, everybody. I am, I am, I am so excited. I haven't been here, and I don't know how I left Los Angeles on uh, uh, no, uh, uh, October tenth, Saturday, October tenth. Hello, Red Man. Hey, buddy. Welcome back. Welcome back. I didn't think you're gonna come back. Where'd you go? I went to Florida, and I went to New York. Oh shit! I'm and I went to Maryland. I went to. Uh, uh, Gettysburg uh, Battlefield. Yeah, I've heard about that. Uh, is that Pennsylvania? In Pennsylvania? Yeah. yeah, right on the border of Pennsylvania near Maryland. Oh, nice. I went to Alexandria, Virginia. Oh, I saw Bruce Smirnoff. He gave me a pair of boots and and uh, Smirnoff, the guy who owns Smirnoff beer. No, I wish. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I saw Schubert down there. I went to Key West and I went to Newport Richie. And then I went to Jacksonville and saw Joey Mamo. Wow. Did you hit the lottery? Like, you're doing a lot of traveling. I just rented a car and God, got in it and, and, and just drove. I From mean, here I, to there? Or when you get went out on the East Coast, you got rented the car? Or you rented the car out here South, and drove uh, out there? South uh, Florida. Uh, uh, um, uh, West West Palm Beach oh, yeah. is where yeah. I, yeah. I flew from Long Island to Florida. Anyway, that's not a... Well, I, I am so excited to have you two guys because you're going to help me help my podcast because... You guys are pulling in. This is uh, David Lucas uh, for, and uh, uh, William Montgomery. Can I call you Dave? David, I prefer. C- can I call you Dave, though, for this podcast? No, David. So you'd be uncomfortable if I called you uh, anything but David. Yeah, because it's like David is already short enough. <laughs> <laughs> short enough for what? That's what I'm saying. Why do you need to say Dave when David is only one more sil- one more letter? <laughs> uh, I see. I Remember, see. I call you Dave. What's the issue? Yeah, huh? yeah. What's the issue? Let me call you, you Dave. What? What's wrong Sometimes with David? Sometimes I give a Sometimes shit. Sometimes I call Red Band Red. What red, about hey Red? You know. <laughs> what if I call in the <laughs> producer <laughs> meeting? Sometimes I just call him Red. What if I call? Don't care. What if I call you Holtz? That's fine. That's you what you used to call me in in, in in high school. I fuck it, Holtzman. Call me Dave because Dave is okay. No, yeah. if, if, no, call if, me. You can call me. I don't me want Dave. you to be uncomfortable no, here. I'm, not. I'm joking, bro. I'm not gonna. Be no, 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 no. You it could be true. <laughs> call me Dave. A lot of Dave. times they'll say that. You know. No, 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 <laughs> Holtzman. You can out of anybody. You can call me Dave. Dave. Yeah, I'm more comfortable with Dave. It's yeah. a less. It's it's a less syllables for I me. Know, and, yeah. and when I start doing yeah. items of interest. You'll know why. Yeah, I guess. And uh, <laughs> and uh, William, can I call you Bill? Yes, Bill. Bill Montgomery is here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You That's guys, the, you guys are kicking ass on Kill Tony, right? Yeah. Let's change the podcast to Dave and Bill. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was, it, it, it flows. It flows. It but does. You guys are pulling in numbers. You know, we, uh, Red Band and I, we're in the producer meetings on a you know weekly basis, and uh, we see the numbers coming out of the uh, uh, the brothers in Crusoe. Crusoe. <laughs> Correctly, it's another another word that I'm not too uh, familiar with. Intrusive? What is it? What is it? Brothers in cursive. In cursive. Okay. Well, that was that was pretty in- it was inclusive. Close. But uh, so maybe uh, it, it, for the next two hours, if you guys have any uh, two hours. Yeah, I don't come all the way from Redondo Beach to come in here I for an hour. Know. Red Man knows that. He gives me a break, you know? He says, you know, it only has to be an hour, Holtzman. Yeah. What is this two-hour nonsense? What are you? Who do you think you are? Yeah, Will, you go ahead and give me one of them beers. Bill, you go ahead and give me a beer, dog. Two hours? I got ADD. And uh, so okay. uh, I have uh, I have a lot of information. I did a uh, I'll start with uh, you, Dave. I did some research on you, and I'm, I'm confused. I don't know... Uh, 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 your father's a senator, or you, uh, you're, uh, you, you, you're from Miami via a recording studio. Uh, I mean, there's so much conflicting information I got on you. I don't want to just throw it out there and offend you in any way. But yes, yeah, so, uh, uh, who, who are you? <laughs> who the fuck are you? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, my fa- my father is a politician. My father's. So politician. this is true then. Yeah. In the uh, uh, yeah. Georgia State Senate. Yeah, something like that. And um, my family, my family owns Slip and Slide. Slip and Slide is uh, explain what Slip and Slide is. Oh, that's a record label that used to host uh, Trick Daddy, Trina, Rick Ross. At one point, now they got people like Mike Smith, uh, some other rappers you probably wouldn't know. But yeah. 
I thought wow. He, I so thought he was talking about the outdoor me thing too. that you slide on. <laughs> That's what oh, I thought. Bill, you get it Bill, wet? Bill, Bill, I'm interviewing okay. a big wig right over here. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> we'll get to you in the farm that you yeah. came from. <laughs> but yeah, so you, so you don't have to work. Is that it? You, 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 I mean, uh, you don't I've, have to work. I do work, yeah. Like, Doing what? Um, I've had several jobs, but. Uh, but like, you don't have to. I mean, me and me and my daddy not the best, you know. So oh, you've um, got some problems at home, do you? I mean, I wouldn't call it that. <laughs> I say him. My mom has some problems, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, but uh, Why, have you seen your dad hit your mom and you saw it? And that was maybe, you know, was there any violence in the house? I wouldn't put no incriminating evidence on no podcast. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't, I don't, I don't want to get personal. But, but did um, the police ever have to come to your house at any time? Not when I witnessed. Not I that see. I witnessed. That, that's but, a good. But that's yeah. Good. That's a question they ask you when you go for a job, you know. Yeah, Did yeah, the police yeah. ever have to come to your home? Yeah, I live next to fucking Pink Dot. I was drunk every day. Of course they were there. But yeah, if there was a girlfriend there, she's going to get smacked. I don't know. When they start throwing your stereo equipment into the fucking pool, you know, there's going to be some grabbing. There's going to be some grabbing going on, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you love that when they, they yeah. start grabbing yeah. shit and throw yeah. it in the pool like they're gonna fuck? Yeah. Nah, not the stereo. Remember when they used to have speakers? Yeah. You know, big speakers, JBL. Remember that? Bump and bump, 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 bump. Oh man! So I was driving yeah. in Florida and I was listening to the radio and I could listen to it and uh, a lot of a lot of country music though down there. Well, the, Florida and the Penhandle is just uh, deep south. That's mm-hmm. like being in. Uh, well, in Georgia, Florida, in Florida, uh, you know, they say, Christ is with you. Christ is with you. Yeah, not now, shit. not now. But they, you know how they say in Florida, the more north you go, the more southern it gets. So, like North Florida right. is way, way, way more southern than South Florida. Like Miami should literally like almost be its own state, just because how it is, as opposed to the rest of the state. And so, when did you come to LA? On when? When, when did you get on scene? Um, I moved to LA like in two thousand. I think it was 10. Yeah, 2010, straight out of high school. I have a book here on letters. We could probably, after the show, we could find a letter that you could write to your father. Oh, no. Write him letters for all occasions. Yeah, it's, it's, it's templates. Of write him a fan letter. <laughs> Red Band loves this, this just letter text. segment. <laughs> I'll just he doesn't text know him. whether he loves this more or, or items of interest. He, he's just a, oh, Bad Ashley. I forgot to mention Bad Ashley. Oh, you That's, hung out with Bad Ashley. Yeah, we had a pizza party right there. The lonely day, it didn't rain. You ever been to New York City, yeah. Long Island? All it does is rain. Yeah. I got two days of nice weather the whole time I was there, uh, Red Band. Hey, you shaved too. I like it. I like yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. Got to do it once in a while. I was, just in, right. I was just in Portland. It was raining the whole time. Whole time. Every day. Yeah, that's suicide uh, yeah. county t- time. It was fun, though. People just kill themselves left and right. <laughs> yeah. You know, they can't take the rain, and they can't take their inability to take the rain. Yeah, yeah. In, in certain uh, respects. And uh, so Instagram, it's Bad Ashley Band. I talked to a guy from South Africa the other day. He nice. was, uh, <laughs> I don't know who his name is. You know, you never know who you can, it's social media is unbelievable, you yeah, know? Yeah, social media motherfucker, bro. Yeah, here's you hanging out with uh, Bad Ashley. Yeah, that's the pizza party we had. Who's Bad Ashley? Yeah, who's Bad Ashley? Th- th- that's the opening music for our, uh, they're a band out of Long Island and oh. uh, uh, Queens. Oh, nice. And uh, we had a pizza party, and uh, we just had a grand old time. And uh, <laughs> yeah, there we are. There's the band. That's Bad <laughs> Ashley. Bad Ashley is the girl. She's the, uh, the, the lead singer. And then uh, that's uh, Tarantino or uh, Sarantino. And the, the one on the right is, uh, we didn't have name tags that day. That's Dave. <laughs> <laughs> and that's Jack. And uh, I'll hear that I butchered their names. But yeah, we had a pizza party. It was just it was just wonderful. I thought Bad Ashley was going to be like an Instagram personality, like Bad Barbie or whatever her name is. Oh, no, there they are. And uh, Red Band loves it because we can't get charged for any music. We used to get fines. Yeah. We used to pay extreme <laughs> fines every month on this podcast, thousands of dollars <laughs> from using other people's music. So finally, Red Band said, this can't go on. This can't go on. So Bad Ashley... Uh, I guess they found me or I found them on social media and they're the music and we love them and they love us. So, uh, what an interesting cat. Meow. Wow. Yeah. Meow. Yeah, man. <laughs> man, you got a politician. You like politics? Are you into politics? Um, I will say that. Now you're supposed to say, Hey, Holtzman, easy on the interview. All right. Just sit nah, down. down. Ask. <laughs> I like being open. I like, I like, Holtzman, you, you you know you. I got me. Rolex for you. If anybody needs Rolex, aspirin. 
I got a morning after pill if you need that. I do. <laughs> I knew a guy yes. who liked to get high just on after morning pills. <laughs> he wasn't pregnant, but he just loved the way he made it feel. He made his asshole pucker up really, <laughs> really tight. <laughs> <laughs> So let's go over to uh, Bill. 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 Man, tell us about you. You're from Tennessee. Is that it? From Memphis, Tennessee. Have you ever been there? I, uh, uh, Alan Steven was doing a show. Uh, I was working for the airline at the time, and he was doing a headline and over there at the Laugh Factory in Memphis. And he told me, yeah, come on. Is there a Laugh Factory in Memphis? It used to be. He said, said, come on over if you want. You know, he never thought. I showed up. (laughs) (laughs) I showed up. Because I had the free flight benefits. And he put me up and I made fun of Elvis. You know, I said, what a disgrace to put that big, overweight, fat mother on a stamp. Yeah, he got on the stamp. In Memphis. Yeah, on a stamp. Well, I mean, what kind of, you know, does he that deserve to like be on a shit. stamp? You know, no, I listen think. to his music, but I don't want to look at him. Yeah. <laughs> at the end, he was hard to look at. Right, he, was, right. he was just like a, a runaway wreck. So, uh, uh, we, uh, Bill, tell us about yourself. When did you come to Los Angeles? You're the Kill Tony with uh, Dave. I've uh, been here three years in February. Wow. You know what they call that? That's a fast burner. What does that mean? Yeah. You know, he's only been here three years. I've been here 180 years. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, do you ever get beat up on Ginger Day? You know, yes. you know the ginger. You know, punch a ginger. You know about that? Uh, no, what day is that? Tell me about Ginger Day. <laughs> yeah, on May 6th. It's probably the day of the year I really I hate the most. Yeah, I mean, it's hard for me to go outside. Everybody makes fun of gingers, and uh, is that yeah. is that a bad word? Ginger, what does it actually mean? Probably not. Yeah, I don't mind. I don't mind. Uh, in uh, in the Korean War, when the the the, the uh, <laughs> Koreans were marching the uh, the the the, 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 uh, the soldiers, uh-huh. they were extremely cruel to the to, to the guys with red hair. They would they would were re- they really? Is that true? That's true. That's interesting. They would, I didn't know they that. would hit them with the rifle butts. They would uh, <laughs> would they? It would make them take morning after pills. <laughs> I would love to have a mixed baby with red hair. Yeah. How yeah, come? It's, it's not That's, an attractive sight. Oh, I've yes, seen it is. I, what do they call those red so? bones? It's is not, that a red bone? No, it's, it's like breeding a, a chihuahua bone. and a great Dane, you know? You're going to get something weird. You're going to get something weird. <laughs> that would be beautiful. A mixed kid with freckles and red hair? That would be... Yeah, that could be fun. That would be... <laughs> That could be fun. So, are you guys going to stay in LA, or are you moving too? Uh, or are you just—is it on the low down? Plead, you don't want to talk about it. I plead the fifth. Yeah, I'm pleading yeah, the fifth too. I don't know what I'm going to do. Everybody's leaving LA. I mean, uh, the yep. action is going to be in. Uh, They'll be back. In, uh, I don't know if they. Well, yeah, they could always come back. What's the big deal? There, yeah, they will be back. Just a plane, a two hundred dollar plane ride round trip back. Nah, but for real though, I'll definitely be in Austin a lot as well. And what's going on with the uh, the uh, pandemic is raging. I heard this curfew for businesses at six p.m. Is that 10 true? P. Ten p.m. Ten p.m. What here out here now? Yeah, yeah. I didn't <laughs> know that. And I'm sorry about your automobile accident. You want to tell us a little about Thank that? Thank you. Just to get it off your chest. Yeah, this past Friday I was. Uh... All right, thanks. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> This motherfucker Red crazy. man, clean shaven. <laughs> hey, buddy, I actually, I actually have a present from you from a, a fan. Wow. <laughs> I hope it's not going to blow up in my face. Okay. <laughs> right. Oh, wow. What is this? Uh, oh, wow. Wow. What the? Ooh. Damn. Whoa, that's a, that's a B-50. That's a B-52. Uh, no, it's a... Uh, it's not a B fifty two. It's a, 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 a DC a DC eight or DC ten. Uh, not a DC ten. No, it's I don't know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, if you say if you call it something, it's not right away. There's a hundred people going. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. <laughs> it's a plane. It's a it's a plane. It's a plane. You know? <laughs> oh my God! Is that cool? I'm yeah. gonna hang this with the, you. You take fishing string and you hang them from the ceiling. Yeah, I read the yeah. letter. That's actually from our friend Jeff, Jeffrey Richards. No relation to Jeff Richards. Uh, I call him the Apprentice because he looks 
like who, the apprentice. Who is this character? Yeah, right, look at that look, thing. He wrote you. Oh, oh my god! What is what is this thing hanging from the bottom? It's, That's to hang it, I believe, like uh, a hanging mount. Or uh, maybe a stand. Yeah, it says uh, greeting, uh, greetings, Mister Red Band. Wow, comma, twenty eight September, twenty twenty. Sorry for peanuts. I also hate them, but they are the best to ship. This model, of which has an interesting history, it's a thirty-plus-year-old rare presentation Boeing uh, of a model of a Boeing seven twenty. Okay, I was close. I knew it was yeah. a seven that originally <laughs> right. produced for a Middle East prince who met his untimely demise. A total production of 12 was commissioned, and I ended up with three as gifts from the family, of which this is one. Could you kindly ask Mr. Holtzman, uh, would suspend this model during his Dead Air podcast, how cool would that be? This guy's definitely a special needs adult, I guess. <laughs> He's probably in a home someplace wiping <laughs> saliva off his chin. <laughs> <laughs> and then he says, capital BTW, I guess that's by the way, as this is the a very old model, the balance weights have become dislodged inside the fuselage. Just rattle around until the proper CG, center of gravity, I guess, uh, is obtained. And she will hang, suspend quite nicely. All the best. Jeffrey Russell Richards. By the way, really admire your work ethic. Keeping the Kill Tony as well as the other podcasts up and running during these crazy times. Wow. Yeah, he's, How nice he's a good is guy. That? He gave, How he, nice is that? Yeah. That's nice. He gave me a really cool uh, uh, Nazi dagger from <laughs> like a real Nazi dagger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Bro, that's the thing. Like, they. Fine, know, oh, he's a fine antique broker. Mm hmm. That's what I was about to say. Like they, Damn. they they talk about black people spending money on jury, but white people be collecting wow. some rare shit that <laughs> costs way more than jury. Look at that! Isn't <laughs> that too. beautiful? That is that's cool. Ass man. I used to be in the aviation business. Really? Yeah, what did you do? You said something. I came home with a bunch of bolts and washes in my pocket, trying to watch the news and see if a plane crashed that day. That's what I did. <laughs> <laughs> Ter terribly frightening job occupation. <laughs> Oh my God! I hope that, I hope I put Stupid. that thing on right. I hope they uh, did that okay. Uh, oh wow! Uh, <laughs> oh my God! This is. I think this is what uh, the actor uh, John Travolta owns. Oh really? Yeah, I think Oprah Winfrey bought him an airplane. Oh, the one where he's yeah. kissing because he gives good head. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, he kisses guys on that plane. I heard. Will I'm gonna buy you a helicopter, <laughs> please? See, here's him kissing a guy getting in that plane. Oh, my God. If you own the plane, you might what? kiss guys, too. Right? <laughs> and he's a, isn't Travolta an actual pilot? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. He has one of those houses that the, you, the airport comes right up to his residence. They're yeah. popular in Florida and Texas. Damn. Oh, wow. This is, this is just amazing. Well, that's cool. God, how cool is that, Red Band? Very cool. That's yeah. dope. Yeah, check out Travolta's house. He has... He actually has it so his plane comes into the back of his house like a terminal. Right. Damn. Where is that wow. at? Uh, where does Russell? Uh, where does Russell live? Uh, Red Band. What's that? Where does this gentleman, uh, 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 Jeffrey, live? I believe Washington D.C. Maybe. I think that's one. Of the, one wow, of the first places what a I cool missed. Cool cat. Uh, yeah, that's cool. What a nice. What a nice. Thank you, Jeffrey. I. I uh, we it's can't Florida. visit you now at, at the home because of the COVID, but we can look at you through the glass. <laughs> that shit, crazy. A runway that leads directly to his house. That's insane. Jeez. Travolta got money, bro, because it, it costs... Oh, yeah. He's an international movie star. Yeah, it costs a lot of money yeah. to keep a plane up. He's an international movie star. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. What else do you want? That's a guy that doesn't want to die. When you live a life like that, you do not want to die. It's like this, uh, 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 you know, he's going to try to freeze his mind or his brain and try to bring it back when they I have wonder a, if that stuff works. I've, thought, I've read oh, about uh, that. Oh, Alex in the, from uh, Oracle is trying to freeze his head. Trying think to, that's going to work one day? It'd be like Futurama. These people have so much money, they can do all sorts of, you know, we're just going. They did say you'll be able to, like. What, download your personality to a hard drive? Did you see that, Red mm -hmm. Man? Yeah, that's it. 
What does that mean, though? I don't know, bro. So I guess I can gather your your likeness to it. it I can gather your likeness onto a hard drive and maybe manipulate it. I don't even get it. what that yeah. means. Don't, 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 don't bump into that, I uh, Bill. I won't. If you <laughs> don't mind. That's, uh, so you really used to work in the aviation? Yes. Nice. 17 years. Putting wings, putting wings on planes and shit? Wings. One time I was up in the cockpit. The plane was leaving from home, Hawaii. And, you know, they, they fly the tensions will call you up into the airplane for last minute uh, glitches and what have you. And yeah. there was a big carpet. And there was a big, uh, big <laughs> string of carpet in first class, or I don't know, business. You know, it was it was in the way; it needed to be cut. Yeah. So I went up and I cut it, and some some passenger said, "Oh, oh, oh! I hope that's not connected to the engine." I said, "It's the <laughs> only one that's connected to the engine." <laughs> and then and then uh uh, one time my sister was on the plane going back to new york and i would uh i would surprise her and sit in first class you know and she'd be back in coach yeah and then during once the plane got up and going i'd I'd get up and go back and surprise her boo (laughs) boo (laughs) were you around when they could smoke on planes uh all right this podcast is over (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get my horse and get the hell out of here. <laughs> no, I remember. I remember that smoke full in the back. Do you, uh, Red Man? Actually, I do. When I was a kid, <laughs> I remember thinking it was disgusting. Like, what? Yeah. <laughs> it was. A, I love the people that you smoke a whole pack of cigarettes, one right after the other. Oh. Yeah, I've seen it. I, I I don't know what the date is when they stopped l- allowing that. It's like mid '80s, I believe. And uh, shout out to Sinbad. Sinbad had a stroke. Yeah, so, he's uh, recovering. Everybody, it's probably a mild one, is it? Hopefully. Yeah. I, Good. Well, I mean, I don't know, but I heard that he's recovering. His daughter is fine as shit. And uh, so our prayers and uh, thoughts are in with Sin, uh, S- uh, Sinbad. And uh, When did that happen? Just recently? Like a couple of days ago. Yeah. Oh, wow. And uh, stroke is no joke. Just no. like our friend, uh, what's his name, says. Uh... Yeah. You know, uh, Alonzo. Alonzo it's- Bowden. <laughs> Strokes, no joke. Call 911. My uh, girlfriend's <laughs> grandfather had one literally on uh, two, like two days ago. And really? I thought I was watching him die. Yeah, the ambulance. They you called were the there? Ambulance. Yeah, it was honestly oh. scary. I'm not kidding. Yeah, I thought I was watching him die. I went into a seizure. The ambulance around, people you- were there. Oh, my God. It was scary. So you had kinda. a traffic accident a week ago. And then, and then, then, then this somebody two days a- ago. You should have turned. So your- I'm drinking some beer right now. You should take the edge off. God, <laughs> you got. I hope you have some more real morose stories for us. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it makes for good podcasting. Yeah, yeah. William. William you see anybody some, get hit by a car? Uh, no. William got some great stories for you if he'll tell them. So uh, you're from Tennessee, and you came here very, very recently, and uh, you're a big, a big drawer on the uh, on Kill Tony and social media, just kicking ass. I remember when you first said hello to me on the patio. I didn't know who the yeah F right you were. Right. Yeah, you know I was polite though, but I didn't know who I was talking to. If I had known who I was talking to, <laughs> I would have been a, bit, a little bit more correct. You know what I mean, uh, uh, Dave? Dave's not here. <laughs> I feel you. You know, uh, me and you Will- guys are doing great. There was a video of me and William meeting like a year ago. Before he was, were you were you on Kill Tony at that time? Or no, it's been two years now. So yeah, you were. <laughs> <laughs> and Macon County, you're originally from. Macon, Georgia. There's a Macon County well, movie. You returned to Macon County. A pretty Macon good County, movie back in the a, day. There is a Macon County in Georgia. With the uh, cars, you know, the the, the, the race cars, and gotcha. the souped up cars. The, there's a Macon County. Yeah. Wow, I just have so many questions. I. I just figure if you, if you have a lot of questions for your guests and you, you don't know which one to ask next, just blow off the questions. Just blow yeah. off the questions. <laughs> you know, you know, a, lot a, of good pod, idea. a lot of podcasts, they'll try to force it. You know, oh, I got it, I got it, I got it. We don't have to do anything. Yeah. Matter of fact, for the next 10 minutes, no one's going to say a word. Nice. Okay. What do you think about that, Dave? Uh, it is what it is. It's your podcast. Hmm. No opinion at all about it? Nah, it's show podcast. Right. What about you? Uh, uh, I think it's a great idea. You do? I think it's a lousy idea, Bill. 
<laughs> I just wanted to see how fucked up you are, Bill. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's uh, let's start with uh, I guess some items of interest. Uh, this is a segment we do in the beginning, just to uh, a lot of the listeners enjoy it, All right. and uh, you guys are free to comment on any of these items of interest. Just chime in whenever you want. This is your podcast. This is your podcast. <laughs> <laughs> you want to make that clear if I, if, you have nothing to do with it <laughs> if it was our podcast you'd probably be lost by now isn't it comfortable here yeah this I feel is, good I'm so comfortable here Red yeah. Man said, I like it in here he's gonna he said if he goes to uh, uh, Austin he's gonna rebuild this this studio exactly with the dimensions just like you know they did in the White House on those uh, White House movies mm-hmm. and television shows where they <laughs> <laughs> they rebuild the White House for the set exactly the way it is. Yeah. He's going to do it exactly to the to the mil- Yeah. So are you going to Austin? What's going to happen with it? Yeah, what are we going to do? We do the podcast in here. What are you doing, Ultimate? Do you even know? Do you know? I can go anywhere. Matter of fact, I can go anywhere. Yeah. I, this, I can. This, this guy hosts me lives in Redondo Beach, man. He can- I know. You know. Where is that? I'm people, relatively new. It's to called the nice South place? Bay. It's, it's, South it's a 20-minute walk to, from the ocean. It's, you know where the, you know where the uh, mag- uh, Comedy and Magic Club is in yeah. Hermosa? No, he probably never been there. Yeah, not many, not, not many people are there. There was a comic that was going to perform, and he hit his toe on the door going in, and he said, damn, and they, they banned him. <laughs> <laughs> no, for real. Yeah. They like you to be clean. I mean, it's, yeah. it, 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 it's the biggest drunk tank in the whole wide world, Hermosa Beach, California. Just a drunk tank on the weekends. I mean, debauchery. Unbelievable. Yeah. It's a party, party beach town. And the owner of this particular comedy club... Is like, you know, uh, walking on water and praying to Jesus every five minutes. And he wants the place to be squeaky, squeaky clean. I think Joe Rogan, I, met, I, I was working at the uh, at the department once and I went down and I met Joe Rogan. And, uh, I was there. Yeah, all right, all right. Up on the roof or in the yeah, parking yeah, area. Parking. And I was in uniform yeah. and I went over there. They were performing there. And just for Joe Rogan to go there, they had a big... A, a big disclaimer, right? They had a big warning, yeah. you know, a big warning, you know, <laughs> a warning, you know. Uh, it's just, it's just, it's just. It's <laughs> big just, warning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Joey Diaz isn't allowed there. Uh, of course not. But Ari Shafir is for some reason. What? <laughs> Ari? Yeah. It's made no sense to me. I, I they feed that. you good there. Yeah. Five minutes from my house. So you got money. I could walk there. No, I live in a mobile home park. <laughs> uh, well, you know what I, you know I about do. that. Yeah, I do. You know about that. I do know about that. Huckleberry Finn looking motherfucker. Hey, host of roast me. Uh, roast me. Give me a roast. I would have hit. <laughs> 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 All right. I love hosting, uh, man. That's one of the perks of working at the comedy store. Your your night is going slow because you know, like uh, you know, at the end, you you've been you've been in the main room show, Red Man, of course. So you know, like towards the end, like you might have. He's one. Holtzman's one of the only few people I actually watch. <laughs> exactly. You might have so. So you were great on the documentary I was watching. Right, yeah, the funny. Holtzman documentary. You got a butt. Yeah, you got a lot of time. That was great. <laughs> You're funny. A beast. <laughs> to you be- got to come in there, bro. So before Holtzman comes up, there's like 30 minutes of to 45 minutes of people not giving a fuck, not paying attention. So when, when, <laughs> thinking when, about tomorrow, right? Thinking about what they're gonna do tomorrow. <laughs> when Holtzman, when Holtzman comes in, I don't know if it's his voice <laughs> or if people know a certain time that he's going up, but you get like 30 people that'll just come in to watch him. Damn, hell yeah. yeah. Gosh. So, uh, um, what was I going to say? Well, my dad wanted me to tell you that he loves you. He thinks you're very funny. Do my, you get along? I literally, my, da- my father, Larry, wanted me to tell you he thinks you're very funny. Do you get along with your father? Yeah. No problems at all at home? No. You ever see him hit your wife? Or you grow, uh, your mother? Uh, there were a couple times growing up where so I remember you guys they would get from, in a fight. Uh, kind of tormented homes, both of you. <laughs> I wouldn't say that. Yeah, I was generally pretty nice. <laughs> Me and him both grew up pretty middle class. Did your father ever get a rifle out and stick it in somebody's rib and say fuck? He didn't. I don't think he has a gun. He doesn't have a gun because he... Will used to get enemas, though. Yeah. My mom used to give me enemas. 
All right, then. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forgot to swear you guys in. I'm Swears, sorry. Yeah. Uh, Quran or Bible? Neither. Oh, Neither. Oh, so you're a little bit militant. Is that it? I'm we had another. Uh, I'm a Buddhist. We had another. Oh, I see. Oh, I just read the book, the Tibetan book of the life, uh, the uh, living and dead, living and dying. I just read it. Yeah. I, I'm, all, I, I'm all on it. Yeah, I've never read that one. So, uh, do you do you swear to, to Buddha to tell the whole truth, nothing but the whole truth? I swear well, to myself. All right, that's good, Dave. <laughs> Uh, uh, Bible. The Bible. Okay, just place your hand on there. And swear to tell the raise your right hand, left hand, whatever the hand is free. And <laughs> do, you swear, do you swear to tell the whole truth on the, about the truth? You hope God while you're on dead air. Yes. All right. Yeah. Squad. We, we had a problem with another guest that didn't want to. Uh, Doug Williams. You know Doug Williams. He. I asked Doug him to Williams. swear in, Doug and he Will- said no. Why's that name sound so? Is he kind of short? Doug. Can you put his picture on right man? I, Doug, is he a regular at the store? Uh, he's uh, uh, no, that's not Doug Williams. Oh, that Doug Williams. Yeah. Oh, the one that Jamie Foxx destroyed. <laughs> really? What? What was that? You, you never, never saw, saw that? that? No, 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 no. What happened? What happened? <laughs> <laughs> Jamie Foxx fucked up his career. What do you mean? <clears throat> Why would he do that? Uh, because I mean, it's a lot of rumors. Wow! Can you, can you play a little <laughs> yeah. bit of it? Right wasn't he? Wasn't wasn't Doug a cool cat? Yeah, Doug, oh, Doug's great. Yeah, yeah. I think what happened is Doug was uh, roasting Jamie Fox, and then Jamie Fox just came back at him times a million. Uh, yeah. So, for, well, I didn't think Jamie Fox should have got the Oscar for playing the blind guy right? with the that piano. Was great. I mean, come on! How hard it is for a black guy to play a black guy? <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, come on, come on, you know. Now, if they had a guy like William uh, Bill over here, I should have got uh, an award. If know, I yeah. played him, yeah, yeah, that I would have got an award. That would have been hard, you know. Yeah. Just type in Jamie Fox destroys comedian. Yeah. All right, Jamie Fox destroys. Oh, well, Red Band's doing that. I'll, I'll start on the items of interest. Why the fuck is it so hard to, to yeah, work on that? Uh, uh, once on the brink of extinction, the Liberian lynx has made a remarkable comeback over the past two decades across Spain and Portugal. In 2002, there were only 94 of these cats left in the wild, partly because of Franco-era campaign to wipe out creatures considered vermin. Now the lynx population has increased to 855, which is good news. <laughs> Thanks to the work of the uh, Spanish and uh, Portuguese governments and uh, conservation NGOs, uh, non-government organizations. And the cat has been uh, reintroduced in Portugal where it was previously extinct. The lynx is a jewel and a thing of beauty to behold, said so-and-so and so-and-so of the World Wildlife uh, Wildlife Fund. So that's good news for the lynx. Here's Jamie Fox. <laughs> yeah, I don't give a fuck. Do you want... <laughs> 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 can, you, can, you give him, can you give him a beer, please? Yeah, you want nah, one? I'm good right now, bro. <laughs> Fast forward. Cause, Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. I'm going to keep this thing rolling. Another person that does not motherfucker on this panel. <laughs> Doug Williams! Everybody else came here to roast him and sniff. I came to this motherfucker for a deal. That's what I'm looking for. <laughs> Thanks, Shaq. Well, actually, Shaq didn't invite me. I snuck in this motherfucker and uh, just blended in with everybody. Shaq, give it up for Shaq. You got to give it up for him. Give it up for him. That's the gold bond medicated powder. This motherfucker complained all year about his toe. And I, I can't believe somebody 7-1 was complaining about a toe. All that money this nigga's making, and he complaining about a toe, you could cut my foot off and I'd still run up and down the damn foot. For the kind of money they pay, Jack. And I know how you hurt your toe, Shaq. Big ass Shaq. They must not gonna show it. Yeah, whatever. I thought that was fucking what, what, what show is this? It's like a roast or something. And Jamie, we happy for you. You done been in what, two hit movies y'all get up? You been in- Wow, they didn't. <laughs> 
<laughs> what an annoying video. It's it actually said that this is the video that Jamie Foxx destroys Doug Williams and Comedy Roast, and it doesn't even show any of it. Yeah, the real video is maybe like seven minutes. I'll have to take check that yeah, out at, we'll figure at that home. Out. <laughs> oh, what okay. magazine do you take these out of? This is uh, the magazine uh, called The Week. So by the time you read it, this shit, oh. Sometimes, yes, since I've been in Florida for a month. <laughs> 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 but I try to pick out some things that are, uh, uh, you know, items of interest, you know. But uh, uh, a training document used by years by the Kentucky State Police quoted Adolf Hitler and urged officers to cultivate a mindset void of emotion so they could act as a, ru- as a ruthless killer. The 33-page document apparently used up to 2013 quotes Hitler recommending a permanently constant and regular employment of violence. Governor Andy Bersher called the document unacceptable and promised immediate corrective action. Well, thank you for that. <laughs> in the spirit of anti-racism, uh, in the spirit of a- anti-racism, uh, the English Department of Cornell University has officially changed the name to the Department of Literatures in English. <clears throat> Hostman, you seem like you might be innocently racist. Only to the people I don't like. There you go. <laughs> I you know, I got to know you first. Right. Racist are people that don't like people they don't even freaking know. Idiots. <laughs> Complete idiots. How can you not like somebody you don't know? Right. You, you, mm, don't get me started. You know, I, I, have no, I, have no, I have no patience for racism. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, the change will eliminate the uh, conflagration of English as a language, as English as a nationality. And Professor Kate McCollin, <laughs> the department said the name change is important part of larger corrective action. So things are changing. Things are changing. <laughs> Even if they're dumb things. <laughs> I mean, they're changing the way everybody speaks. Everybody says stuff. Did you hear about you can't? They don't want you to use master bedroom anymore. Anymore, right? Master bedroom Why? is out, or, or plantation house. Yeah, now it's called right. the owner's suite. Yeah, soup plantation. The owner's suite. No more master bedroom. I'm still calling it a master's bedroom. Hell yeah, that's weird. Oh yeah, I'm paying for this crib. I'm the master. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Google searches for liquor store near me hit an all-time high on election night. <laughs> searches for anxiety and uh, move to Canada also skyrocketed. <laughs> sure, get them out of here. Walmart decided to lay off hundreds of six-foot-tall robots it had been using to scan inventory in 500 of its stores. The company decided flesh and blood workers did, them, did this more efficiently and intelligently and was concerned that customers were unsettled by coming upon robots in the housewares aisle. Is Interesting. It, really? it doesn't seem like robots or humans would do better than robots, especially Walmart employees. Yeah. You know, especially look at these robots just like just scan. It just goes like down the yeah. aisle and scans everything immediately instead of some guy going, bar, 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 you know. <laughs> Maybe yeah. the robot doesn't have like depth perception. Remember, remember the old uh, things that used to have at the supermarket, Red Band? It was a gun and it put the, yeah. the price tag on there. Right. Did you? I used to use that. I worked at supermarkets. I used to use that. Oh, yeah. Which which was the name? What was the name of the model? High Point Grocery Store. Oh, what was the name of the model of the machine? The thing I was using? I don't remember. No, no, the store. High Point Grocery Store in Memphis, Tennessee, in the High Point neighborhood. Yeah, because it's the highest point in Memphis. They had you had to have a truck to shop there. Yeah, (laughs) a lot of pickup trucks, right? Yeah, right there. Yeah, that's where I worked for years. Jesus. <laughs> How many years did you work there? Worked there for probably three summers, and then after I graduated from college, I worked there. I didn't know what I was going to so, do, and I so, worked there for like a year. So it was kind of depressing. So if we <laughs> dig up the ground behind that grocery, we'll find the bodies. Is that right? You could. <laughs> and there's a High Point pub to the right of that where I used to get Damn, drunk. paper towels, 69 cents each. How cool is that? So, T-bone steak. Yeah, they would change all those paper signs every week High point for grocery. specials. Yeah, I remember Bohack used to do that on Long Island. <laughs> yeah, I worked there many years. Jeez. 
There was a time where the uh, the guy who owned the place did a, a suggestion <laughs> box, and one of my f- friends put in there, get rid of the ginger talking about me, but he ended up looking at like all the ginger snaps thinking they were expired. <laughs> <laughs> but he was really talking about me. <laughs> Hilarious. That is, just, that is funny as fuck. If I call that grocery store, if, if I call that grocery store, you think they'll remember you? Well, apparently a new uh, company this past year, some local company, bought uh, the place. Because C.D. Shirley, who is the boss, he sold it, I guess. Yeah, that's where I grew up. My parents' house is probably a mile away from there. That was my old stomping grounds. When's the last and time the you pub was right through there. It's like a one-room little pub with only beer. I would always hang out in there. Ew, an only beer place? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's creepy. Only beer, only cash. That's illegal as hell. Is it? Well, I mean, they can say whatever for the numbers. Yeah. Listen to this next one. You're going to laugh at this one. Let's hear it. The New York Post reported that a state trooper guarding Governor Andrew Cuomo began dating his daughter, Kara, 25, (laughs) and was then transferred to an outpost more than 150 miles away near the Canadian border. Is that funny or what? <laughs> he really didn't like his daughter having sex with that trooper. Damn. I wonder how they found out. She's all right. She's pretty hot. Right. She's all right. Oh, look. She looks like she's a bad girl, huh? <laughs> <laughs> she likes she cops. She likes cops. Come <laughs> over here. Arrest me. Arrest me, please. <laughs> I've been bad. I've been so bad. Pull my hair. Yeah. Pull my hair. <laughs> Oh my God! That was <laughs> That's the father. You gotta oh, like up. Oh. You gotta damn 150 miles. That's some cruel. That's some damn. cruel shit. That's some fucked up shit. Uh, uh, re- uh, a report of two con men in uh, India tricked a doctor into paying ninety four thousand dollars for an uh, an Aladdin style magic lamp containing a wish granting a gr- <laughs> genie. The genie said police was one of the men in disguise. <laughs> what? <laughs> These are items of interest, man. Isn't this great? You don't hear this stuff on the news. You don't hear this on cable networks. This Hell is, no. This, you only hear this on dead air. Indeed. If you're listening. You <laughs> <laughs> uh, would have to be an Indian doctor. The United States became the first nation on Earth to report more than 100,000 new cases of COVID-19 in a single day. The U.S. single-day total of 100,233 smashes Indians, India's previous record of 97,894. So, uh... uh I don't think we're ever going to get back to whatever if they can't get a handle on this. I don't know. What's it going to take us? The shot? What do they call those shots? Oh, the uh, pandemic. uh, The uh, the, The uh, vaccination. So were you able to stay safe when you were traveling around? So are we in in danger right here? Yeah. You were traveling all around. Just just by what you told me earlier, you're in more danger than I am. (laughs) I am. A uh, little news from around the world. Uh, I mean, the United States. Uh, voters in four states dis- uh, decisively approved uh, ballot measures this week to legalize recreational marijuana. We did it. New Jersey retweeted Governor Michael uh, Phil Murphy, a Democrat, who called the decision a huge step forward for racial and social justice. Naturally, black people are 3.64 times more likely than white people to get arrested for marijuana possession. In all 15 states, as well as Washington, D.C., now allow recreational marijuana use and 36 permit medical usage separately. Mississippi voted, overwhelmingly voted to give access to marijuana for people with serious medical conditions. Meanwhile, in Oregon, residents voted to decriminalize possessions of small amounts of harder drugs, such as cocaine, heroin, methamphetamine, 
meth and methamphetamine. <laughs> uh, <laughs> And uh, another big <laughs> word that I don't know what it is, executive director of the Affinity Group, Doug Policy Alliance, it's, it's like taking a sledgehammer to the cornerstone of the drug war. This David, is- you were just there. Did you get any of that Portland cocaine? Uh, I should have, because like liquor stores around that bitch closed like at 6 were o'clock. Were you performing up there? Yeah. All right. Liquor, liquor stores were closing like at 6 on Sunday. Really? Well, that's, that's weird in some states. I had to take like, like a, that. I really wanted some liquor bag, and I had to take like a $60 Uber. To Beaverton. Sixty dollars. I had to drive to Beaverton. Yeah. Beaver- Beaverton. How do you say that shit? When I was shipping out to Okinawa in St. Louis on election day, I couldn't get a drink in the airport because it was election day. So I left the airfield thinking I would get another drink outside in uniform. And no suckers would not sell me alcohol. When was that? Even in uniform. <laughs> when was that? How long ago? Nineteen thirty three. Yeah, I was thinking Okinawa in no. World War II. No, it was in the nineteen. It was in nineteen eighty. And you know what? You got to watch out for Texas too. Texas, you'd be driving around Texas. You all of a sudden you're in a dry town. They got dry, dry, dry places all over the place in Texas. In Tennessee, there were some. You couldn't buy. Bible you couldn't buy beer, liquor on Sundays. In Georgia, yeah. you can just now start buying it after church. <clears throat> so like after two o'clock. You I can mean, buy. it's just. What do you think about the weed thing? Do you smoke weed? No, I don't smoke weed. Have you ever? <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Does it make you nervous? It makes me nervous some. You don't smoke it? Ah, uh, some. If I'm drinking a little, I'll smoke it. Yeah, I get, I get paranoid as fuck. Yeah, it'll make me think I'm dying. Here's an abortion. Uh, <laughs> uh, Colorado voters rejected a proposal banned this week on abortions after 22 weeks. And I will leave it at that. That's five. And that's like five months, bro. The girls be showing at that time. Who wants an abortion? Well, it's expensive to raise children today. Uh, Mississippi, retired the... Re- uh, this is good for you. Retired out, yeah. uh, voters overwhelmingly endorsed the new uh, Magnolia-themed state flag this week to replace the old banner, which included the Confederate battle emblem and was widely seen as a symbol of white supremacy. The new design, adopted by 72 to 78 percent margin, set a white magnolia blossom against the navy blue uh, background with 20 states to signify that Mississippi was the 20th state to enter the union. The state legislature must still approve the new design, selected by a committee from almost 3,000 submissions. Am I the only black guy who likes the Confederate flag? I think it's a cool looking design. Well, yeah, it's weird because we grew up as kids not yeah. knowing what the flag meant, just knowing it was the cool flag on top of the Dukes of Hazard car. Yeah. <laughs> so to us, it was yeah. like, that was a, that's a badass flag. Yeah, I don't like the way they're trying to wipe history away. You know, the, I hear you. I don't necessarily like that either. Over in uh, I get Africa, bad stuff happened, but where they I don't shipped know. out slaves, they didn't tear it down and demolish it. People go there to see it, just like the Holocaust in Germany. You learn from the past right. mistakes of the right. human beings. Right, I haven't really thought of that. I hear you. And yeah. here, they're trying to wipe everything clean and sanitize everything. You know, uh, it's just, uh, it's insane. 72 to 78, so that was a close vote, it sounds like. Look at the way oh, that God. gets caught on there. That's just the way things are, you know, <laughs> just like a cartoon. You know, when you see the cartoon where the, the rope gets around the cartoon's uh, leg and yeah. it goes over the side of the boat, it's the same thing in real life. <laughs> Yeah. Everything has to catch. Everything has to grab. Everything. Everything. Hostman, Hostman, when did you start doing comedy? 1988. Nice. How old are you? Uh, 27. Yeah. Just curious. Honestly curious. Yeah. Yeah, That's okay. You can ask any any questions you want, uh, Bill. So how long have you been at the store? I had a 25 year anniversary on uh, June. Damn. June. Oh, yeah, that's uh, right. I saw that. Yeah. June uh, 7th. Yeah, I remember the post. Yeah. That's cool. And five years <clears throat> before that, I was there trying to get in. Would it take five years to fight? To, to get in. Of- to, be, to become a paid regular. It took me five years. Five years it took me to become a paid regular. Were you doing like open mics and stuff there, or how were you able to eventually get to be a paid regular? I went to the Monday nights. I went to the Monday nights. Every Monday night we went. 
What was that like an open mic thing or what? Just or... like it is now, you go there, okay. you sign up, and then. Uh, but Mitzi saw me in the belly room doing a Don Barris Ding Dong show. Mm-hmm. So then she said on Monday nights, let him do ten minutes, and that went on for a while. Hey, damn, that's cool. You, I've been at the comedy store for a little while. Do you remember when they used to have a mic on Sunday and Monday? Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah, that was only like a couple of years ago. That was what maybe like four or five years ago, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it was so fun. Exactly. How was she? Was she a nice lady? I never met her. It was. Oh, I got here too late. She was too funny. She had a dry sense of humor. She was great. When I yeah. when, when I finally met her, she was already sick. Yeah. Yeah. She was something else. I. Uh, yeah. Some chick was at um, the because I've been doing a few shifts when they had the documentary airing at the comedy store. <clears throat> and there was this real nice looking I'd say late 40s early 50s white lady looking for you real nice like I would have did or not you should have tied her up waited till I came back <laughs> yeah, I was like damn host, I was like Holtzman got it like that I was like damn. uh Mexico this week observed three days of national mourning and to honor oh, uh, the 90,000 people there who have died of COVID-19 a period of reflection and and uh, praying with the Day of the Dead Festival, Mexican families normally mock that day by gathering in cemeteries to dance and sing and build <coughs> floral altars for lost loved ones. But the pandemic has severely altered the holiday this year. Graveyards were closed with some 3,000 police officers stationed at cemeteries across Mexico City to prevent gatherings. And the traditional festival... <laughs> Uh, parade in the capital was canceled. Uh. Instead, mourners were encouraged to build altars at home and take pictures of them to send to enter in a contest run by the National Museum what? of the Interventions. Interventions. Yeah, Mexico is a community in suffering, said author so and so and so and so. We are in a terrible reality, and it affects everything. And this is a real item of interest. Wait till you see this one. Hmm. This one is gonna. This one is gonna knock your socks off. Do you have socks on? I actually do. <laughs> Great. <laughs> uh, a runaway metro train that burst through a barrier and ran off its elevated track came to rest on a huge plastic sculpture of a whale's tail. Sounds like a metrosexual. Planet <laughs> 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 on the <a> tail. <laughs> Had the artwork not been in place, the lead car would have plunged thirty wow. feet to the ground. Doesn't even seem real. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> they should leave it there. That shit looks dope. Yeah, I know it does it look does. cool. They should add that to the sculpture. How do you get that shit down? A crane. But, but as it was, the conductor, the only person on the train, escaped uninjured. It's like the scene out of a Hollywood movie, said so-and-so-and-so-and-so, safety spokesman for the so-and-so-and-so-and-so system. Thanks. It's titled Saved by the Whale's Tail. I'm amazed that it's so strong, so-and-so said. When plastic has stood for 20 years, you don't expect it to hold up a metro train. Wait, yeah. that's plastic? That's ridiculous. That's hard to believe. That's yeah. plastic? That's what it says, uh, Bill. Yeah. I would think that's metal. I would think yeah. it's like cement. Or stone. Or cement. Yeah. yeah. Have you ever been to the Netherlands? No, sir. Neither have I. Have you ever been to Europe? I went to Rome once. How's that? Oh, it was great. It was just great. You have a lot of cool. sex over there? Huh? You have a lot of sex over there? I had some sex over there, yeah. What, what country <laughs> would you say is the freakiest outside of America? Patia Beach, Thailand. Mm, you was fucking a lot. Yes. Did you really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> was it Thai checks? What was it? Yes. <laughs> Did you have a raw dog? Raw dog? Yeah. Uh, so you don't put a condom no on? No condom. No, I don't. Uh, I have, but I haven't lately. Mm. I have lately. Well, whatever. What's the best answer, please? <laughs> <laughs> What's gonna get more uh, views? Uh, <laughs> whistleblower Edwin Snowden said this week that oh, he yeah. and his pregnant American wife are seeking Russian citizenship to ensure that their family can stay together. After years of separation from our parents, my wife and I have no desire to be separated from our son. 
he tweeted. That's why in this... Russia did accept them, right? Yeah. Yeah. So they're going to be permanent Russian citizens. Good for him. Over there, giving up all the secrets. Yeah. Is that good he did that? Uh, I don't know enough about it. Is depends that good on, depends that? on what side you want. It's bad if you're if you're a government. If right. you're a citizen, it's good. Okay. But also, <laughs> <laughs> you know, if you're the government trying to fuck over its people, it's bad. Yeah. <laughs> but if you're one of those people that are trying to be fucked over and spied on, yeah. It's good. Yeah. But how do you how do you feel about other stuff that he knew? In what fashion? Because he was working for the uh, NSA. NSA, yes. And the CIA. So, yes. like, he kn- he probably knows, like, some quality shit that right. could give Russians a slight edge over us. I don't believe he's, 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 he, I don't believe he's that type of, uh, he was just trying to, he was just fed up with what he was seeing, what they were doing to us. Okay. Yeah. I, yeah, be, I don't yeah. think he's going to really be a, a, an asset for Russia. I don't, yeah. I don't believe so. Because I feel like if he would have really gave up some shit, they would have killed his ass. Yeah, it's true. They can get you wherever you are. They don't give a damn. And then he's from Elizabeth City, North Carolina. I would never expect that. Where's Elizabeth City? Bro, it is a bumpkin you, ass you city. Gotta, you got to give him some credit, though. I mean, he he literally... He's almost... You can compare him to the Christians who used to like... Uh, or back in the religious wars, in the where you know you had to den- denounce uh, Christianity, or else they fed you to the lions. Right. right. So you you got fed to the lions because you weren't going to give in. He 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 stuck his neck out, and now he can't even come back to this country. His whole life is, I mean, he, what he did takes a lot, a lot of balls. I mean, you got to give it. the guy credit for what he did because yeah. the ramifications are unbelievable. And his integrity, his integrity wouldn't allow him to. There he is. He was on uh, Joseph Rogan's show. Yeah, that's. Oh, powerful. was he? <laughs> yeah, that's interesting. That's powerful that Rogan was able to get a hold of him. Well, he did it through uh, the computer. But I'm saying, still yeah. though, the fact right. that you got were those good episodes that he was on. I started were watching they a little. I started watching a little bit of it, and towards the end, I. Because I fast forward a lot just because my attention span is horrible. And he, he was saying like some real life shit at the end, bro. Like he's Is he a, funny? Um, He's a nerd, bro. You know, it's a different type of funny. Yeah. Like if you understand what he said, what, if you understand what he understands, I'm sure he'll have some humorous things for you. Man, that takes some balls for what yeah, he did. Do. Yeah, though. balls because he could be in a he could be in solitary confinement in a box for twenty three hours a day right now. Down That's in, how dangerous what he did. How much they want to get him. He could be down in Guantanamo Bay. That's where they'll have his ass at in a box for they, the rest of his life. They'll probably be. I wouldn't deal with that too well. I don't think they wouldn't. They probably would not kill him. They'll probably just torture him slowly. Did Did you hear about that drug Holtzman that they're trying? I don't know. They're trying to implement, but they have a drug where uh, it's a pill you can take, and it makes a few hours seem like years. What? Yeah. See if you can bad go, acid trip? See if you can Google yeah, that, man. You. They were trying to use that to, like, possibly uh, something for, for prison. Wow. That's well, if that's up. real, that sounds hard. I don't put anything past the pharmaceutical industry. Nah, type in a uh, pill that that makes a little bit of time seem like. Yeah, I did. Type it in again. You got to. Mm-hmm. Makes hours seem like years. I'll make a note of that, uh, uh <laughs> Uh, Dave, I'll make a note of that. All right. Dave, Yeah, I'll make a note of make that. Make a note of it. Okay. I'll find it. Uh, this is one is about some real hard workers. <laughs> what is that? Wait till you hear this one. President Moon Jae. With South Korea? Yes. You know about this one, uh, uh, Bill? No, I just... I thought. Why did you that, say South Korea? Because you because I was very familiar close. that that was uh, their some guy named Moon was their leader right, person. Right. He has called for reforms to working conditions for delivery drivers after unions reported that at least fourteen drivers have died of exhaustion so far this year. Delivery drivers. Yeah, there it is, Holtzman. They could serve a one thousand year sentence in eight point five hours. That was is that real. What is that? 
Is that real? Is that designed to drive them crazy? Uh, I guess it make it. <laughs> well, because of the population of the prison, if they could feel like they've served a thousand year sentence and be, be <laughs> out in eight hours, maybe they would be changed, you know, because they're like, I don't want to take that pill ever again. That was the worst. Is that a real uh, article? Is that real? You see it's it. Business it's Insider. It sounds like a movie. It sounds like a movie. Yeah, that's why I don't, I don't, I don't trust those pharmaceutical companies. It's also bad because if a person Gosh. can wrap their mind around the fact that they can kill somebody and get sentenced to a thousand years, right? You know what I'm saying? But you know, that's that- interesting though because you know, because of, of uh, how you know packed our prisons are, it would only have to it, be if it had like- the same benefits. You know, like if a person comes out of that 8.5 hours and goes. Fuck that! I'm never going to do anything bad again. That was a thousand years. You know? Yeah, you really, you can really only use that for petty crime. Jesus, like, what the thousand year thing? <laughs> no, the eight point five hours. Because, bro, like that would drive you crazy. Yeah, that'll drive you crazy, bro. It you really horrible. think you really think you going through a thousand years? <laughs> like you said, a bad acid trip. Like, bro, that. Like you said, how bad acid trips were. Imagine every time you committed a crime, you had to get a bad acid dose wow. that made. Eight hours seemed like a thousand. Couldn't imagine. <laughs> Couldn't imagine. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, called for reforms to working uh, conditions for delivery drivers after unions report at least 14 drivers has died of exhaustion so far this year. Delivery drivers have been working extreme damn. hours in the pandemic as home shopping has boomed. Since they tend to be contractors, they don't qualify for labor protections. One 36-year-old driver identified only as Kim, what a shocker, died right. after delivering 400 packages in a 21-hour 20, shift. Jesus. Another one, uh, I'm not even going to try to say the name. Let me say it. Uh, J-A-N. I got to look at it. Okay. <laughs> Where is it? Jang Dok Jing, Maybe. Okay, that's better than I did. Thanks. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, what uh, Dave said, 27, <laughs> came home from a night shift and was found dead an hour later. God damn. His father went to the National Assembly and knelt down before lawnmakers, uh, begging them to do something for the workers. Sev- several delivery companies have issued apologies saying they would reduce the workload of their staff. How about hiring more people? How about, adding, die of how about adding another shift? They One pro- shift, two shift, three yeah. shift. If they're working twenty one hours, dog, how much sleep are they really getting? So they how get, do you actually die yeah, of exhaustion? Yeah, like how much sleep are you? And they're probably waking up, fueling their body with Red Bull and energy drinks. You get a, I ain't no telling, bro. So much shit, dog. You shouldn't give you a heart attack. This one's out of the Philippines. Super Typhoon Ghani blasted across the Philippines this week, killing at least 20 people and leaving tens of thousands homeless. It was the strongest storm registered anywhere on Earth in 2020, with winds peaking at 195 miles an hour. Gosh. When May- Did I do the weather? I didn't even do the weather. Oh, man. man. Oh, I forgot the weather today. Holy cow. Oh, the- <laughs> You know it's a good podcast for me. For me personally, I don't know what I mean. But man, when I don't do the weather, holy cow! Oh yes, sixty nine. Oh. Whoa! Yeah. You know what? You know what sixty nine is. Do you know what seventy is? What? One oh. finger in the ass. Sixty nine. You know what that is? You know what seventy is? What? Seventy is you do me, and I owe you one. <laughs> What's what's the speed limit? Oh, it's, a, uh, it's a it's an old joke. What's the speed limit for sex? What sixty eight? <laughs> because at sixty nine you got to turn around. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I I saw some funny funny pictures on the social media, the World Wide Web. One of them said a hula hoop for twenty twenty, and it was a big hula hoop of Bob wire. <laughs> <laughs> 2020 been a year. Then there was another one. You know those uh, airplane stands that they wheel up to the door of the airplane? Yeah. yeah, yeah. It was packed with people, but there was no airplane there. And the caption said, (laughs) the Joe Biden transition team waiting for Air Force One. (laughs) And it was packed with people. 
people. <laughs> there was nothing there. <laughs> uh, oh, man, that was funny. Man, Joe Biden. Uh, so the typhoon's killing Filipinos left and right. Uh, when it made landfill, the storm washed away bridges and topped uh, cell phone and airport towers. One village, San Francisco, was entirely buried in a landslide. Man, those landslides are bad. The village was called San Francisco? Yeah, yeah. Interesting. Yeah. I saw firsthand the dead that, that were buried, their arms coming out. Wow. So-and-so told so-and-so. Now authorities fear a surge in... <laughs> coronavirus infections because nearly 400,000 people were forced to decamp to crowded evacuation centers ahead of the storm. It's like they just suffered a, a fucking typhoon. <laughs> the last thing they worry about is coronavirus. <laughs> no. You know what I'm saying? Oh, man. All right. Who, is, who are we going to talk about today? You want to talk about uh, uh, Peter Frampton? Who the fuck is that? You know, it's one of my dad's favorite uh, musical artists. Do you know who you are? It's something like that. And he would have the, <laughs> the tube and, and do his guitar. Yeah, he had the tube and his guitar. Oh, uh, Peter Frampton can recall the moment when he became just another disposable teen idol, said so-and-so and so-and-so. In the mid-1970s, a unique jazz-influenced guitar style and good looks briefly made him the hottest rock and roller in the world i realized that instead of the front now front row being a mixture of 50 50 male and female in the audience it was all females at the front and and the guys all pissed off at the back he said he had a little tube he was making that noise the, with the, tube. the, the, the same shit uh what's that group called um zapping roger so you involved with the uh with the label no, I'm a comedian. You don't want any part of the label? No. That's cool, man. I'm into that. I, I think that's... Cool. Thank you. That's, uh, Do you have tattoos? People... Uh, no, no, I don't. Uh, I think uh, people need to expand their minds more yeah. and, and, and realize why they do what yeah. they do and act the way they act. I'm like an outcast for my family. Oh, I... I I'm, like, I'm like the black sheep. And you are... Literally, black. I was about to say literally. I'm, I'm brown. That's, I'm that's brown. unique. I know. <laughs> I'm brown. <laughs> black sheep of a family, and, yeah. and you're uh, black. Wow. Yeah. So, uh, hmm. yeah, we got like we, some dead air right there. Right? Yeah. Damn right. Stop the damn podcast in its tracks. <laughs> so yeah, bro. I'm. Uh, well, it's not too late to uh, mend fences. Just take the high ground. That's what that Buddha is all about. Now, I mean, I, I mean, I don't got no problem with it, but they just look at me in a certain way. Like I didn't follow tradition. I, what would they have wanted you to do, bro? I went to private school. I'm pretty like my mom wanted me to be an architect or an engineer. Like I know that one thousand percent. Like she still brings it up to this day, sometimes. But it's like I, I chose my own path. Yeah, you're an artist. I got in trouble a lot growing up. And you're a writer. Yeah, you write on some uh, yeah, some projects. Yeah, I've written on some projects. Yeah. Entertainer so. and an actor as well. Mm -hmm. See, he's an artist and You're he doing your thing. Yeah, he didn't want to. He didn't want to. Uh, he didn't want to uh, do it's what his parents wanted him to do. It's much supposed more, to be a lawyer. I think only, I would have been a hell of a lawyer. The only, if I was a parent, the only thing I would insist that they not do is that balance beam. <laughs> if my little daughter, you know, with with a flat chest, wanted to jump and down on those <laughs> uneven parallel bars or those. I would just say, no, you're not doing it. Right. I'm not going to wheel you around in a wheelchair for the next yeah. hundred years because you broke your neck right. doing gymnastic I love her. stuff. Yeah, I don't like gymnastics. It's too hard to watch. You don't want them to hurt themselves. They can, you know, jump you, around on the you mat. You got kids? Yeah, I was about no. to say, did you ever have kids? No. See, you should have raw dog more. Yeah. <laughs> There's still time. I, when start. I was in Florida, they told me there was a woman that uh, uh, at a wedding could have been. Uh, they told me some disturbing stuff. That what did they great. tell you? What are you talking about? about uh, <laughs> a, like a like a one night stand, I guess. And then they she told them that it was me. That she was it. You? I don't know. I Do you remember her? How, how long ago was that? Oh, that was that was that was that was some time ago. Was she pretty? I can't even remember what she looked like. 
Yes. So she got a kid or something? I don't. I, I think. Uh, is his hair slick? No, I, I. It'd be I, funny if it had a little mustache in right. the hair. Does, it, does, it, does he have a woman. <laughs> Instead of crying, does he yell, I want a bottle! I want a bottle, mammy! <laughs> yeah, that was funny. I wonder if there's truth to that. I'd love uh, to know if you've. Yeah, if you're out here raising these bastard kids. I mean, well, not knowing, but... His double album, Fran- uh, Frampton Comes Alive, <laughs> was so enormously <laughs> successful, he says, that it affected... It affected his, his album was so successful, it affected him mentally. Now he was a rock star under enormous pressure to repeat that success. After a near-fatal car accident in the Bahamas, he became addicted to morphine that doctors had prescribed for his pain. Frampton already had been abusing drugs for years, helped, he said, by his now dead manager, who got the drugs for him so much cocaine and weed Frampton could consume to distract him from the ongoing theft that the man perpetrated. I had less than nothing, Frampton says. I owed hundreds of thousands of dollars. I was kept high. He didn't want me thinking about what was going on. It was criminal. Same thing that happened to the guy in that movie. Did you see that Queen movie? Mm, yeah. Remember that guy who kept him away? He were, he almost he almost missed farm aid. Uh, what happened in the Queen movie? I'm not familiar. What are you talking about? He had a he had a he was a gay guy, and he and he had another gay guy keeping him away from everybody and keeping you know. And uh, he found out by accident about farm aid. Was it? It's so. farm aid. And that big concert they had, and he got on it, but he almost missed the boat because of that guy who was just yeah. being a real bad apple. Show business is a dirty business. Hold on, oh, what? Man, what are it? you saying? Look, I didn't follow on what you were just saying. Uh, Somebody got on the the, the lead singer. <laughs> I'm sorry, of the I, sometimes I don't. Queen com- guy. What were you saying? I don't communicate properly. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, you could have been. I'm just confused. What were you saying? Uh. It's it's a story about bad people uh, getting him. Yeah, the lead singer. Yeah, yeah. You got to watch that movie, William. You'll What's like it called? It. It's a great movie, man. This guy is does a great Eddie job. Rhapsody. And I like the guy. I like the stage oh, hand. He's awesome. Look how close to real life he looks. Really and the stage yeah, hand. Yeah. The stage hand. Has His face almost looks digital. Yeah. And I guess they didn't pay for the rights, so they didn't give him the real music. They had to. Uh, I don't know why the family of the estate didn't let them use that. The Were real they still music. doing that song now? Greedy. They'd be Were they greedy. still doing their song? They'd be greedy. They, they, maybe something. they wanted too much money, yeah, or something. It's like, ain't nobody else using it. Let us use that shit. Yeah, they would have paid him. I guess they didn't want to pay him as much as they wanted. Live Aid, not Farm Aid. Live Aid. So what happened there? What were you saying? Basically, the lead what occurred singer, there? What I'm understanding is the lead singer was kept away by another gay guy, right? To kind of uh, kept away from what? From, from everybody, this, from information, this. from everything. From, oh. knowing, from knowing that he had shows, knowing that he had this big performance, so that he could, I guess, guess dwindle down, and he could just probably collect deposits. So somebody and, else could be making the money. Well, he'll probably just collect the deposits, and then he'll never show up. And, you know, there's no fucking social media. Sort of like a bad wife treats her husband sometimes. There's you know, no, can't no, have any fun, can't go anywhere, can't there, do anything. There's no social media, so the other gay guy's acting like his manager. He's taking all the phone right. calls. Yeah, wire me 50000 He'll be there Friday. Then he don't show up. Oh, well, the lawsuit's not against me. The right. lawsuit's against him. We wired you the money. You know what I'm saying? So I, I, I get it. Gosh. So that was... Uh, Oh, this is a big story that broke. I was surprised and disappointed. And uh, well, I don't know. I don't want to take sides. You get you take sides. Sometimes you get in trouble. Why? Let's yeah. see. The British tabloid uh, did not libel Johnny Depp by calling him a wife beater. So yeah, what's going oh, yeah, on? Yeah, the girl what's one, going on right? With his girl. Yeah, I'll say right here because everybody's uh, like, I still don't fuck with her. UK judge. Uh, so-and-so ruled this week citing overwhelming evidence that Depp, Johnny Depp, abused his ex-wife Amber Heard and put her in fear of her life. I filmed a movie maybe like three, four years, maybe three years ago, three, four years ago, uh, called The Labyrinth. I uh, Johnny Depp plays one of the crooked cops that was dealing with uh, Tupac's murder, but because of all these issues, it never came out. But I'm in a small scene, um, one of the 
gangsters. I think maybe I I think I get arrested because I got a gun at a barbecue. We shot at a house over here in Van Nuys. But uh, maybe 30, 45 seconds of a... Uh, that's cool. Of uh, FaceTime, if it ever comes out, and I say like a couple of words. It was Johnny oh, Depp yeah. nice? Johnny Depp was cool. Johnny Depp was cool. He's cool. Yeah. <laughs> he's uh, he's, he's cool. good friends with uh, Stan Hope. I like Johnny Depp. Yeah. <coughs> it did take, like, he he really was on some, like, celebrity shit because, like, the we, we ended up shooting a scene that was supposed to take a day. It took, like, four days because, like, I don't know if he was going through something back then, but they were like, oh, we're wrapped for today. Uh, Johnny didn't want to come out of his trailer or his car or something. I'm like, what the fuck? But it took, it, took us like, it took us like four days to shoot something that should have been a day or a day and a half at max. It's called The Labyrinth? The Labyrinth, yeah. The, uh, I think B-Y-R-I-N-T-H. The judge the said... Type, it- Labyrinth, Johnny Depp. The judge said that the uh, said evidence supported twelve or fourteen abusive incidents alleged by his girlfriend heard, including Depp headbutting her, repeatedly punching her. That's it. Yeah, this is it's called City of Lies now. Oh, okay, so it did come out. Yeah. Okay, it's already out. Based on Labyrinth, you're That's in it. it? Based on Labyrinth. That's Based what on it the is. Book Labyrinth. Based on Labyrinth. Yeah. Yeah, we should check to see if we're right. Yeah, I want to watch that shit. And you haven't a- seen it yet. Bro, from the last I heard, it didn't come out. But it looks like it came out in 2018. And uh, and this was with uh, Tupac? Uh, I, to be honest, I shot it, that one. was it Biggie Biggie who got the... Uh, to be honest, I shot the one scene. I don't know, honestly, what went on in the other stuff, but it was something about like the cricket cops. And there was a black Canadian actor who played like a cricket detective. It'd be cooler if you were in Edward Scissorhands. I loved him in Edward Scissorhands. That lit as fuck. I've seen the word book. You have any suspects? That's the, the, the black one. Are you guys hearing two Tupac shooters? Oh, what? Biggie's yeah. answer was. Biggie didn't have Tupac kill. The facts point to something more here. If we can prove a connection between cops. I see. I never met Forrest Whitaker. I never met any of those other guys. It would ruin the city. I wonder, did he replace Johnny Depp, and that's why it took so long to come out? Whom? That white guy right there. Yeah, I didn't like it when uh, Biggie Biggie got it. He should have stayed in New York at that time. The did you like Biggie? Between the East so that's and that. Yeah. That, was, that, that. Yeah, scene, me too. That scene that they just so I'm in that like that because that scene that they just showed. Looks like the scene because I believe like there was a car crash. It was a house in Van Nuys we shot at, right behind uh, Los Angeles Valley College. Oh, this looks like a good movie. I didn't even know about. Bro, I didn't even know this shit was out. I can't wait to see him now. So who killed him? Oh, that's the scene I'm in right there. That's the black. Uh, so that scene where they just were arresting him. That's the scene I'm in right there. At the pool party. Who were they arresting? Tupac in that the movie? Black, that black guy was um, like a police officer who was like involved with, I think, Suge Knight. He was an off-duty cop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he was a cricket-ass cop. So why'd they shoot him? And who are we talking about bro, right now? Tupac? Liter- why'd they shoot Tupac? Dog, listen, bro. he made when, somebody mad? When I tell you we filmed this movie so long ago... This, I don't even think my daughter, I don't even think my first daughter was born. This may have been like f- four, five, six years ago, bro. I had low hair, everything. Low hair? Low haircut. What does that mean? Like, I, like I a to, buzz cut? Yeah. Oh, I want to see this thing. Yeah, I want to see it too. You should watch it before tomorrow so we can talk about it. I'll watch I it. I doubt that'll happen. I got to be. I want to watch that Queen movie. Yeah, it's a good one. Yeah. How'd he get AIDS? He was uh, having sex with another man. And the guy had AIDS? Maybe, yeah. I hate that. <laughs> uh, so, uh, so he's in. So, uh, four, 12 or 14 abusive incidents alleged by her, her including Depp headbutting her, repeatedly punching her, and tearing out clumps of her hair. Depp 57 alleged that her 34 was the abusive one and concocted the attacks to help 
a divorce settlement. She shit on his bed, I heard. During one fight. Sounds like you. She sh- what does that fucking mean? Served yeah. his fingertip okay. on a broken bottle, then admitted to painting a wall of their home with his blood. Gosh. It is a sign of the death of his rage. When it gets like that, you got to just run away. Yeah, if you're painting blood walls. you got to run <laughs> away, you know? You just got to run away. You should talk to William about this. I don't know what that means. Everything's fine with me. <laughs> It's been it's as better as it's ever been. So, Holtzman, what type good. of what type of women you like, Holtzman? You know the ones that say yes. <laughs> you like black women. <laughs> <laughs> you like black women. Yeah, yeah. Mexicans. What do you prefer? <clears throat> I had a friend who used to say uh, he never had a bad pussy. <laughs> oh, there's some bad. <laughs> you know, you know. There's some bad pussies out here. Let me tell you, bro. There's some bad. Is it all not really similar? <laughs> I'm not too familiar. Is it all not real similar? Fuck. No. Are they all not pretty similar? No. Are some, they really not, bro? There's some. Bad. I've heard they're all pretty similar. That's somebody, they're not. That's somebody who doesn't have sex a lot. Like a person that. What says, do you have sex a lot? That's like a person that says all water tastes the same. Like no, the fuck it don't. Well, it's still water. Yeah, if you if you want to fucking use that, then yeah, that's true. But all pussies are not created. All dicks are not created equal. Is that true? You've already talked about your short penis. So come on, let's not bring that up on Holtzman's thing. You should tell Holtzman about it. There's nothing to say. What are you talking about? <laughs> you just talked about it on Kill Tony. What are you fucking talking about? No, I haven't. What are you talking about? Oh yeah, you're right. You were talking about how you eat pussy. Okay, let's stop. I, uh, she doesn't watch this podcast. She knows I'm on it. She dropped me off. You should have. Uh, she told dropped me, me off. He told her we're she doing, knows I'm here. He should have told her we're doing some Patreon stuff. No, no. When I read the next item of interest, it's going to pale in, <clears throat> in comparison to this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> what is? We're, we're brothers, man. We argue. You're sick. <laughs> You're sick. Yeah, I'm a little worried about that. Do you feel all right? That's like the third. Yeah, you're red. (laughs) (laughs) What's going on? Uh, How much gel do you put in your hair in the morning? Quite a bit. (laughs) Well, it looks good. Can I touch it? Yeah. It looks hard as hell. It looks good. That should feel like an erection. (laughs) It looks good. (laughs) Okay. uh, Let's let's finish up the items of interest, shall we? Nah. (laughs) Nah. <laughs> nah. <Whoa. laughs> this is one for Red Band. I always oh. like to have an item of interest for Red Band. He can explain it. It was about underage Asian women. <laughs> <laughs> April introduced a new batch of bundled subscription services, said so and so and so and so, that can offer <laughs> meaningful savings. The most affordable subscription option is the Apple One individual plan, which includes music, TV, plus arcade, and 50 gigabyte of iCloud storage. At $15 per month, it will save subscribers $6 if they are already paying for those services a la carte. The Apple One family plan has the same offering with 200 gigabytes of storage for $20 a month. One step up, the $30 premium plan for up to six users offers two TB. I don't know what T, what's TB? Terabytes. Terabytes? Terabytes, yeah. Terabytes of storage plus news and fitness. Is that fitness? Yeah, yeah. fitness. 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 Plus fitness. Fitness in your mouth. Fitness plus fitness. <laughs> <laughs> Each cost ten dollars per month on their own, with the much storage plus music, arcade, and TV plus. You're saving twenty five dollars a month <laughs> if you're actually using all those apps. So there it is, host. When you look like a motherfucker who don't give a damn about a telephone, <laughs> you probably got like an Android, huh? No, he's got an you iPhone. You a smartphone? I got, I got, I got, I he got. uses it all the time on his uh, YouTube page. Really? I just say that because you got fucking magazine clippings. Yeah, these. Uh, so well, I love it. I, I like love it. the magazine. It's old. It's old school. It's, uh, oh, this is a real good one. Wait till you hear this one, uh, uh, Dave. 
<laughs> Does sound kind of awkward, don't it? <laughs> My name is David, all right? What is your problem? <laughs> there better not be no black shit. That's all I know. The diabolical iron-clad beetle can survive being run over by a car and stamped on by a human foot, reports the Associated Press. And now scientists understand what makes this bug nearly indestructible. Found on the west coast of the U.S., the beetle is protected by body armor that can withstand loads up to 39,000 times the bug's weight, which is like a 200-pound man uh, surviving a 7.8 million (laughs) pound crush. I guarantee you, I step Can on that bitch. Can you believe that? Let me put my Timberlands on and step on that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Let me put my Timberlands it's on. Cool. Yeah, that's cool as hell. Oh, there it is. There it is. I guarantee you, I got some shoes that can go through that shit. Is that prehistoric looking or what? Yeah, it looks like a herpy. That motherfucker look like he's been caught on fire. He looks real Other sweet. beetle species can withstand <laughs> only a third as much pressure. But what's the point of having that? Like, where in, uh, what is it called? Where in nature will that come in? Yeah, handy? where in nature will that come? I guess if an uh, animal puts you in its mouth. Yeah. Maybe if you got stuck in an elevator shaft and the elevator came down on you. Mm. Uh, what, on what examining the species. Yeah. An adaptation to just keep growing thick skin. The researchers found that its ma- it, that its armor has more interlocking wing covers than other beetles, which helps it distribute stress. These covers peel apart when weight is applied in order to ease strain. I want to see a video of this motherfucker being ran over. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Yeah. There you go. But, on, but that was on dirt. <laughs> Give me a fucking a uh, 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 a cafeteria floor. <laughs> It's cafeteria a, floor. Whoa, whoa, a, whoa, a, whoa, whoa, no, they're gonna do it. They're gonna do a test. Yeah. These scientists will go to any lengths. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, that nigga's sick. What'd crack. you do today at work, honey? Well, we, we smashed a beetle. <laughs> and then we went to lunch. <laughs> That's the beetle from Lion King. Look at this Pablo Zeta Fakini. <laughs> That's beetle, but almost crossed. <laughs> What's <Wow. laughs> Uh, that uh, should look like Predator's head. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And are connected to the beetle shell with flexible joints that are act as shock absorbers. The authors say the findings could help the development of impact-resistant materials for use in planes and buildings. We're trying to go beyond what nature has done, says so-and-so and so-and-so Damn, from the University a- of California, Irvine. So very hats are off to you guys. That shit got a natural suture. Yeah. That's a suture. You guys like uh like Lake a of Baseball? Binding. You like Lake of Base uh basketball? I don't give a fuck. How about you, uh uh the, the the we're a college basketball fan. Here's a book for all you Laker fans, the Los Angeles Lakers team that won three titles from two thousand to two thousand and two was not a happy family, said so and so and so and so. It is uh extremely readable book. The young Kobe Bryant comes across as a man aloof and impossible to coach teammate to be put up with by coach Phil Jackson and fellow star Shanek O'Neal. Shaquille O'Neal. <laughs> Shaquille, yeah, what did you say at first? Shake O'Neal. Shake O'Neal. <laughs> Author Jeff Perlman acknowledges that Bryant matured into a different man, but the veteran so- sports writer, Shake unfortunately O'Neal. honest book, tells a valuable part of Kobe's story. And the book is called Three Ring Circus by Jeff Perlman, if you're interested. Is uh, uh, Jeff Perlman the owner of the Lakers? Or? Oh, no. No, that's... Uh, is it, is, do they still own the Ice House? The I Lake? believe so, yeah. That's what I was going to ask. Who owns the Ice House? Owners of the Lakers. Do they? Yeah. One of the sons, right? Yeah. Hey, Holson, what's your favorite cologne? Fahrenheit. Oh, okay. Do you know what that is? Yeah, it's an old school. A lot of older men like that musky, strong. What's the smell like? Strong. Come on, I just put deodorant on. Come on over here. I'll let you smell it. Can I smell it on you? (laughs) Do you have it on you now? (laughs) Yes, I do. Yeah, Fahrenheit cologne. Elvis Costello's got a new album. Uh, Dave? Elvis Costello. Yeah, pumping up when you don't even need it. Pumping up. 
when you don't even need it. Ba na 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 na. Right, right, Red Van. Uh-huh. And uh, <laughs> uh, at 66, Elvis Costello still has the head full of ideas, with most worth exploring. Said so and so and so and so. The new wave rock legend hopscotched around Europe and North America to record his latest album with various collaborators. And the results feels like a sampler of his various career phases. All right. I'm going to stop there. Who's I'm, your favorite musical artist? Oh, I like them all, man. I like rap. I like... Uh, you like I Waka like, Flocka? I, <laughs> I never heard of that Waka one. Waka Flocka Flame. I fucked my money up. And now I can't read up, ran up in the spots just to get my stacks up. Now I'm back on deck. So, Shardy, what, <laughs> what the, the fuck, fuck is up? Uh, I like yeah, uh, what the you fuck you. Shit. Yeah. I, I, I like putting, putting in your mailbox. I can I can see your head bobbing. I can I can see your head bobbing. <laughs> What's that? Putting money in your mailbox. <laughs> What's that? That's, that's bad, Ashley. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like Easy E. There we go. Easy E. Crank. Oh, you know who else cranks is... Uh, uh, man, he yells on his CDs. I love it. What's DMX? his name? Uh, DMX. Uh, not man, DMX. He's militant, man. He is. He just. He is not fooling around. Mm. You know, he's a big actor now. Uh, ja Rule. Jeez, oh, no, he's no. talking about Ice Cube. Not, not uh, Ice T. No, not Where's Ice he? Cube. The one on the television. Sh- this, the other guys yells. Uh, Law and Order. The guy who was in the movie with the snake. Oh, the guy, the guy who was in uh, the, the movie with... Uh... This nigga talking about Samuel Jackson. <laughs> no, no, no. No, uh, what? Oh, Fridays. The guy who was in Fridays. Yeah, Ice Cube. That's Ice Cube. Yeah. yeah, he's yelling, man. He 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 lays down. Yeah. I thought you were about to say Ice-T. He... Ice-T is uh, the guy on the detective, right? Yeah. Homicide. Yeah, yeah. Homicide call. Two bodies was found. Is that what they say on the show? Yeah, he don't say much. Yeah, I love this song. The motherfucking oh, song. Oh, yeah. He, 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 he doesn't fool around. I like to listen to this before I go on stage. You don't listen to this? Do you really? Some of this and corn. Corn. I like corn. Do you really? Corn is like great. Shut your mouth. Shut your mouth. Shut your mouth. Freak on the lease. That's fun. You listen to that. I like them. So I listen to them Something some. Something takes a part of me. Something I will never see. This is a part of the items of interest. It's really helpful. It's called the tip of the week. Let's see. Stay your ass at home. Put on the mask. A cracked phone screen. Now what? <laughs> Access to damage. See the phone flat under a good light and gently test for evidence that the screen is still secure. If the screen is badly damaged, act quickly to back up all your data if you're able to. Tape it. A cracked screen can be sealed with a clear packing tape. Allowing you to use the screen without cutting your fingertip or losing slivers of glass. If you work carefully and trim the excess with the with an X act acto blade, the tape may look almost like a screen protect, protect, uh, protector, which is another option that might extend the phone's useful life. Replace it yourself. Do-it-yourself screen replacement is tricky, but (laughs) iFixit.com publishes detailed repair guides. The website also sells the screen and toolkits you'll need. And what was that website called again? I keep this this in a cover. What does the sticker say on the front? It says, uh, uh, live a great story. That's a good sticker. Yeah. Hostman got J's on though. You got jeans on? J's. J's. J's? What does that mean? Jordans. You got oh, yeah. J's on? Yeah. Bruce Smirnoff gave me these. Can you believe it? Oh, those are cool. He gave them to me. And he gave me a pair of boots. How is that? Is that hospitality or what? Nah. He goes, What size are you? That's sweet. What size are you? What size 12? are you? 13. Bigfoot ass. <laughs> 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 yeah, I'm my my carbon footprint. How tall are you, bro? <laughs> Six two. Oh, you a tall little? What you is? Did you ever play uh, sports in high school? You Italian? It's Portuguese. Okay, you look like an extra from the. You're casino. really Portuguese. <laughs> he looked like he could be an extra on the casino. 
Casino. The movie. The, uh, the movie? Find a pro. Best Buy repairs iPhones and Samsungs, and you break it, fix, handles even more brands. iPhone users can turn to Apple as well. So that's important information. That is good to know. Hey, can we do a freestyle with you? Oh, yeah. You gonna rap? All right, go ahead. Let's see if we can. Yeah, let me see if I can. If I can. What, you got a beat, Red Band? From, uh, if I can hang. Hold on. Let's see what Holtzman got. You were discovered on the roast battle. Is that right? Was no, that I remember one night going to the comedy store on a Sunday night. I got real drunk, and I went to the open mic, and I was hitting on all cylinders. And then the next day, they let me get on the uh, uh, the thing in the Tuesday. main room, or the thing in the uh, original oh, wow. room. Yeah, or potluck. And they call it pot roast, but they let me up in the pot lock the next. I was hitting on all cylinders. Uh oh, you ready? Do that shit, Holtzman. Uh, Let's right. see what you got. Feeling it, feeling it, feeling it good. <laughs> make it, make it, make it right. Make it right. <laughs> right. Make it right. Make it hard. <laughs> 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 Oh, you want me to freestyle? No, no, well, yeah, this is not uh, how, you know. Wanna... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chilling with my boy Brian Holtzman. You know we about to come show sportsmanship. Cruising with my boy William. We in the studio. This ain't brothers in cursive. I'm on dead air. I don't care. I sit my fat ass in a roll chair. I like to go to Subway. I like wings. I like to do a lot of things. Lemon pepper, you know I like that blue cheese I come through, the hoes gotta <laughs> say please I like to eat, I like to cook a lot I like to go to the, the hookah spot Catch me on Rel- Melrose, catch me on Sunset You know your boy gotta stay fresh to death I got a lot of jewelry, I got a lot of hoes I got a lot of kids, they need a lot of clothes I need all my money I put tea with my honey I like sugar cubes, I like ice cubes I like to do that shit. I beat up a lot of dudes. Oh, yeah, okay. okay. <laughs> you go ahead now. Yeah, William's turn. William, yeah. come on. Uh, <laughs> Let's go, William. I'm going to feel it. Hold on. I'm on dead air with Bill and Bill <laughs> and Dave, and I'm happy I got a new airplane from Jeffrey in... Washington yeah, and yeah. Red Band's back and Dead Air number 43. Yeah. And yeah. I'm self conscious about my rapping. You call us <laughs> Bill and Dad. <laughs> 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 I'm okay. Florida was cool. I got new <laughs> shoes and that's all right by me. <laughs> 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 Will, where you at? I don't have anything. Damn. Damn. Will. I can't do it. All right, we're going to finish up the uh, items of interest because uh, this uh, podcast is always run out of time on this. We lost uh, 90 years old. We lost James Bond, uh, Sean Con- uh, Connery. I did not know that motherfucker was that old, bro. He looked good. Yeah, he was. Uh, What's his ethnicity? He was Scottish. Oh, he Scottish. died in he died in the Bahamas. Was he? Died in the Bahamas. NASA. He actually looked better as an older man than a young guy, in my opinion. No homo. <laughs> <laughs> Look, like go up. He looked older right there than he did yeah, when he yeah. died. <laughs> right. He aged like a fine bottle of wine. Right. He yeah. sure did. Auto sales rolled back from pre-pandemic depths with uh, record prices for new vehicles. Ford reported $2.4 billion in profits for the last quarter. Yeah, and bro. Fiat Chrysler reported $2.7 billion. That's a lot of cars. Damn, bro. Who's buying? Remember, remember growing up, I was thinking about this. Remember when you saw old cars on the street? You guys remember this? Yeah. You know, beat up cars? Now yeah. nobody has beat up cars. Every car is brand new. You know? Every car. There's no beat-up cars. You're Once not, in a while, you that, see a beat-up car. That's because you live in Redondo. Drive through Van Nuys. 
<laughs> you just drive it in the wrong. You live in Redondo Beach, of course, Holtzman. And you go from Redondo Beach to PCH to West Hollywood, <laughs> and you hit the freeway to come here. Go through Van Nuys. Uh, all right. Drive down Van Nuys and Sepulveda. I you know, there's a new airplane service too, Red Band. Did you hear about that special? Air? I'll, I'll bring it next week. It's eighty nine dollars. You can go all over the place. Really? Uh, in a little jet, you know, no middle seat. By the way, I think you have the coolest motorcycle. I didn't know that's what your motorcycle looked like. Isn't that? This, right? That reminds me of the motorcycle to the Such right of you, right of the TV that uh, Janice drew. That water look that that uh, motorcycle looked like it run off of water. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like the, from the movie. It looks like from the movie Akira. <laughs> They call that a baby gold wing. You fill it up with a water bottle. <laughs> it's 800 cc. Oh, this is when I went to the game the other day. Yeah, I didn't know there this was. This is a, a weird video because you just start talking to a kid. <laughs> yeah, boy, what is this? I was like, how uncomfortable what is, is this? That? <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> Where'd you find this kid? Is he still alive, Brian? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like Holtzman. Holtzman's one of those older gentlemen who don't give a fuck about no coronavirus. Yeah. Either did this kid. Yeah. This is from my... Uh, yeah, what's he doing? I, this is my YouTube channel. I just put up videos when I like to just make videos, you know, and short videos. And it's on uh, Brian Holtzman, the YouTube channel. There it is. Yeah. And uh, Look at that I hair. Just, just have fun, you know? Just have Hell fun. yeah. You got the hair of a mad scientist. And... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is Key West, I think. It started raining. So I said, let's let's film rain. We're about to see something. Because to... <laughs> it never rains here. You know what I mean? I know rains. I miss rain. I honestly oh, rain do. rain is great. I honestly miss it. I miss the trees changing colors. Unless you got to drive in it. But if you don't have to drive Bro, in it, Bro, I thought so. I ain't going to lie, Will. I thought like, I was like, oh, okay. Because I looked at the forecast when I was in Portland. And I was like, man, it's going to be nice to be in some fucking rain and see leaves. But you got but tired of after it. After the first day, I was over it. I'm like, man, fuck this. I this, hear you. I know. It's depressing, man. You. It's gloomy all day. I got a glimpse of sunshine only on Sunday for like four hours. Then it started fucking raining again. I hear you. I hear you. That doesn't sound good. Man, you Wilma. guys are great, man. What you, you doing at Wilmington? Thanks for so much for coming here today. Well, thanks you for having us. You're You're so are you guys going to have me on your podcast? Probably not. But, uh, <laughs> I like it when you take me to task, you know? That, that, you know? <laughs> Honesty is the best part. <laughs> no, it's not the demographic we're looking for. Yeah, I, don't, I, don't know if you, I don't know if you can handle Will in Brothers in Cursive form. Wow. I, I don't even say like, that. No, no, no. It's not, a, not anything on you, but it's just like, you know, we'll have you on Holtzman. The average household expects to spend $1,387 on the holidays, a 7% decline over year to year, according to a sub MGM rejected an offer from Apple of $350 million to $400 million for the rights to license and stream the new James Bond film, No Time to Die. Why would they turn down that kind of money? Bro, Supreme, speaking in hypebeast, Supreme got bought by, was it North Face, for like $2 billion? Wow. They got bought by like North Face and somebody else, I believe. North Face. The San Francisco iconic Transamerica Pyramid Building was sold last week for $650 million, but they don't say who bought it. And uh, the largest commercial transaction in the U.S. since the onset of COVID-19. Damn. A woman in Florida was charged with scamming Amazon out of more than $165,000 from March 2015 through August 2020. I saw that shit. The woman what allegedly, is she doing? The woman allegedly created 31 she accounts and submitted 42,000 returns each time requesting reimbursement for shipping costs. Gosh. She reused shipping labels and made it appear as though... She had paid for them out of pocket. See, they don't know when to stop. They she, should just stop. When look at her, bro. Scroll up. Janice, wash your face. Bro. <laughs> that, right. She should have ordered some fucking face cream. Yeah. <laughs> she shouldn't have returned the face right. cream. <laughs> She's 32? Damn, she looks crazy old. Yeah, yeah. it may look horrible. Yikes. That's what Florida does to you. Oh, this is another one for Red Band. Oh. Apple plans to unveil new MacBook computers featuring its new silicon chips on November 10th, said so-and-so and so-and-so. The company is ramping up production on three new laptops, a 13-inch MacBook, 
Air and two MacBook Pros. With Apple design processes based on the A14 chip it uses in its latest iPod and iPad. It's actually really Air. amazing. They released these new chips. That they've been using Intel for so long, you know, like Intel processors. And so now they decided they weren't getting that performance out of the chips that uh, Intel was offering. So they released their own chips and the reviews are already coming in and they are insane. This MacBook Air right here, it's a thousand dollars, is faster than almost any Windows laptop that you can buy at a store. Like it, it is crazy how powerful so it's worth are. every every dime i would recommend yeah i would recommend actually this macbook uh pro for 12.99 i think that's all you would need the only bad thing it only has two usb ports which is kind of annoying i mean you can get adapters to add more but that's kind of annoying so you know how i'm making my movies with the iphone now right do you think i should buy a gopro i think gopros are okay but i think nowadays you're you'd be wiser to get like a new phone like this, oh, this like, like 10 of the 12 this or is the 12 pro max and the video on this thing uh it has bigger uh sensors and stuff like that in it it's perfect for low light this is better than a gopro in my opinion and could i mount that on top of the motorcycle helmet so i could do videos while i'm driving yeah you could do that or i mean that <laughs> that that would be good for gopros <laughs> Did you drive a motorcycle? Yeah, did no, you no, drive but, it here? But I don't want to get a GoPro because I heard that's a pain in the neck sometimes to upload. GoPros GoPro are annoying. To, yeah. uh, they're not to that, your YouTube channel. Yeah, they're not you're going to you're going to probably have to do color correction. Yeah, I, I mean, you, there is mounts for your uh, yeah, iPhone and stuff like that. You just got to make sure it's a good mount because you don't yeah. want to be riding your right. And your iPhone flies off because uh, there's some there's some cool roads in, in mm -hmm. southern california just the, the the it's just uh it's interesting well, you know. what's your favorite thing to eat i like steak well done what? hamburgers uh chinese food what's your favorite kind of steak uh salmon i like uh, he looked like a bone-in ribeye type guy. you're a ribeye oh, yeah. guy oh yeah i, I like t-bone that's what steaks. i'm having tonight <laughs> oh yeah are we invited over i don't know i am i mean I, david I, is but no, -uh. I like Greek food. A Greek, a good Greek salad. Yeah. Oh my God, like that's that, good. Oh, you know when it's just made just right. Uh, Chinese chicken. You know, you, you just name it. The food is food is just. Can like, you cook? I do stir fry, but I used to. I don't do much of that anymore. You eat out? Yeah. You don't got no hoes that'll cook for you. I have somebody that's cooking, but th their abilities are limited. Is she nice? No, she's terribly mean and angry. No, she's very nice. <laughs> <laughs> What is it? So what is it? You she say, yells at me all day long. Yeah. You say yeah. you say you live in a trailer, mobile home, mobile home. Yeah. What's the difference between a trailer and a mobile home? Uh, Trailers that like have like yeah, thank you. Like you could hook it, hook it up to the back of your car, where mobile homes are more permanent. Oh, it's okay. like a manufactured home. Do they have yeah. any trailer parks in uh, Austin? They have, they have tons and so cheap, like. Yours it's costs. ridiculous, and there's there's one that I drove by that had this humongous lake behind it, and it was like uh, really nice. Like each home had like it's like uh, like you had tons of space per unit. You did you, you had like a, a nice land, lots of that. Hostman, you probably pay half a million for a mobile home here. No, it was Is that real expensive? cheap. Forty three thousand dollars. What do you pay stolen. a month for your plot? Seven. Hundred? Seven. Seven hundred and ten dollars. That's not bad. And that includes everything. Uh, water, electricity, gas, trash. So it's a pretty good deal for expensive LA, yeah. Damn, that's not bad. Four, four, 43000 Do you have a guest room? One bedroom. Oh, so one bedroom. Yeah. Damn. Single white. Can't never come through. All right, this is the last part of the items of interest. No, <laughs> you can come through. I have a cot. All right. I fuck with it. Can I come through? Oh, of course. I'm trying to ride that motorcycle. Did you ride it over here? How'd you get here? I took a a vehicle. I, I have a he little, got an SUV. I have a little truck. <laughs> I have a little truck. Yeah. So you have a couple of vehicles. Just a little truck. Look, here's a here's a mobile home in Austin for eighty five thousand dollars, and it's four bedrooms, two baths. They could do some shit. To not it would make cost it. you four hundred and forty seven dollars a month, so it'd be cheaper. <laughs> And you would have four bedrooms and just a mobile home. It's so cheap that I could I could oh, I could be a mobile home owner in two different states. Yeah. 
<laughs> and, look, and look at inside. Look at right. that inside of this. Exactly. Look at Bro, inside of that. Motherfuckers in LA pay four hundred dollars to park their car <laughs> per month. Yeah, that's right. a double Y. See. Yep. Yeah, people. Uh, people. People frown upon this kind of. Uh, you know, well, in some places it'd be dangerous with the uh, tornadoes. Like Texas, but there's the not tornadoes here. Texas has tornadoes. I want to fuck with. Does Texas have? To, does Austin so, have tornadoes? It's so infor- it's so it's so infor- it's so affordable. Yeah. I want to fuck with. Four bedroom two bath. Here's another one. Look how nice that is. You got a center island in your kitchen, and you're paying four hundred and eighty four dollars a month. Jeez, we could probably swing that. Yeah. I'll probably do that one. I ain't trying to live in no fucking mobile home, though. No, well, no. They're, they're cool. You, they're, they're cool. They're, they're, they're nice. They just have a bad rep, I guess. But they're, they're not bad. Once you get inside, it's just like a regular house. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You can even... There's a mobile home here in Malibu that's, like, right on the water. The only thing I don't like about mobile homes is usually I don't like the walls. Like, it's hard to hang shit up on. Why? Well, yeah, you gotta yeah. watch out. <laughs> yeah. And they're kind of thin. Could yeah. they paper my shirt? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. The last, the last items of intimacy is uh, 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 wisdom and wit. Uh, man is not a rational animal. He's a rationalizing animal. Man is not rational. Is not a rational animal. He's a rationalizing animal. Okay. I think uh, on stage nudity is disgusting, shameful, and damaging to all things American. But if I were 22 with a great body, it would be an artistic, tasteful, patriotic, and a progressive religious experience. Yeah. <laughs> I've never heard a person with a nice body shame nudity. Yeah, it's always people like yep. me, That's William, true. and Red Band. Yep. What do you mean, like me? That I'm pretty fit right now. You got nice legs. The I'm la- pretty fit right now. The last of the human freedoms to choose one's attitude in any given set of circumstances, to choose one's own way. When I'm playing with my cat, how do I know she's not playing with me? (laughs) There are two ways of spreading light, to be the candle or the mirror that reflects it. All right, that's what you think. Uh, You can't just turn on creativity like a faucet. You have to be in the right mood. What mood is that? Last-minute panic. (laughs) You like that, that. uh, Dave? That was cool. (laughs) (laughs) I uh, what you was doing uh, in April. April? Yeah, or this year. How you was handling the lockdown. Oh, I just... Uh, it didn't start in April. There was no lockdown. It started in March. That's April saying, was okay. In April, how was it? There was a lockdown in April still once shit open. We were still podcasting. <laughs> yeah, we, <laughs> we, yeah. I think we were too, maybe. Yeah, we were. Hatred of domestic work is a natural and admirable result of civilization. So that's that's it. That's the items of interest. Did you guys like him? Did you guys like it? Uh, Dave? It was cool. <laughs> it was cool, dog. I got to go TT. Yeah, I got a PN shit. Right, I got a TT really bad. I can take a hint. You guys want to... <laughs> let me, I got some gifts for you. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> so I want to just thank you, Red Band, for coming back to California. It better not be no fucking old candy. And I'm glad, I'm glad you decided to stay. <laughs> This oh, is, yeah. You, this is for you guys. What's this? All You're right. too sweet. What's this? Check it out. Check I it can't out. do shit with this shirt. Check it out. <laughs> the fucking extra large. <laughs> Here you go. Well, you can have mine. I love <laughs> show, show them. Show them. Show them. It's a black tee. Aren't they nice? Turn Check around. out the back. Turn around. <laughs> I'm a... <laughs> You gave him Negro uh, camouflage. He just gave him a black t-shirt. Yeah, the ones with the markings on it, they're 35. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get a pen. No, I, I, hey, Holtzman called some girls in the main room one night, bitches. That shit was so funny. I brought you... Uh, is extra large okay? Of course not. But yeah, I'll I, take it because it's you. Yeah. I have an XL. You guys can You're it. sweet, Brian. Thank you. And, uh, it looks like an Asian person on the shirt. Is that you? <laughs> and you look, you look, you look like you Hold got. On. He looks like he got braids. <laughs> Don't he look like he Who's got that? braids? Uh, you look like Lawrence Fishburne with braids. 
It does look like a Lawrence Fishburne. <laughs> <laughs> No, well, thank you so much. That's thank you, great. guys. Thanks, you guys, for coming on. Is the, this uh, your number? Yeah. Uh, thanks. Is this your real phone number? <laughs> yeah. What's your manager? No, it's not. What's your manager? Is it? It really is. What's your manager's contact? <laughs> Do people call you due to these buttons? I'm uh, I'm freelancing right now. So I didn't get a chance to do the weather, but it's nice out today. It's really nice out today. And I want to thank Jeffrey from uh, Washington, D.C. for the airplane and the nice letter that you... Uh, where did you meet this fellow again? Uh, he comes to a lot, like, a lot of shows. Like he, I think last year he came to like 20 different shows. He's, uh, he's like a super fan of Kill Tony and wow. uh, everything. That's, wow. that's a beautiful yeah, thing. Right. Thank you, uh, Jeffrey. I really appreciate that. That is right up my alley. I can't think of anything more cool than to receive a 707. I think it was 707, right? Mm-hmm. 707. So uh, do you want to uh, tell us anything about yourself? and uh, 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 Plug anything. Plug anything? Yeah. How's it going? My name is Memphis. Or <laughs> my name is William. I'm from Memphis. Um... You know, do, do you want to say anything else? Okay. <laughs> How about you, Dave? Thank you. Oh, sure, sure, sure. Thank you, Holzman. You, you, <laughs> Red Band, you want to say anything? Thank you. All right. Thanks, everybody. And uh, see you next time. Thanks, guys. All right. Thank Ben you. Ashley. <laughs>